Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play Math Pup Flying Saucer, which is one of our coordinate grid games that's free to play. Okay, when you first start up the game, you're going to see this menu here, and uh, you can go click on instructions, and it just basically you can scroll through uh, the instruction by clicking the next button here. And when it gets to the end, it just keeps repeating. So, anyways, if you uh, need need to see the instructions, you can always go here. But let's go ahead and click the start game and take a look at the game. And this takes you to the sub menu where you can choose to play in all four quadrants or quadrant one. So let's go ahead and click the quadrant one grid. And uh, the object of the game is to get five bones into the spaceship before the end of the level. And there's how much time you have. You know, I have uh, right now we have 90 seconds left. And uh, the little indicator here tells you uh, where the point that uh, the flying saucer is directly over so that you'll know um, where to position the uh, flying saucer so you can collect the bone. Now the first bone here is showing that it's in position at coordinate 2, 1. So I can use the arrow keys to go over to 2 and I can just kind of position down here. Now if I'm not exactly on it and I hit the space bar and nothing happens, I'll move it down a little bit uh, and you see the bone show up right there. Now you notice I'm just clicking the space bar and it doesn't it's, it's still it's still there and this doesn't change so it tells you that you've not held the space bar down long enough and long enough for the uh, bone to go all the way up in the ship so let's go ahead and, and uh, get in the ship and the way I'm going to do that is go ahead and uh, uh, press the space bar and stay on it and it's all the way up in the ship and you notice I got, I got a new uh, coordinate to go to. I'm going to go ahead and go over 8 across and 4 up and you kind of estimate like I said it's not a big deal. See I miss it there. It looks like uh, over there. Let's see I'm not certain. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and stay on it and got that one. I'm going to need to go to coordinate 2-4 so you need to get five bones in each level to move up to the next level and uh, so far you can see that we've got two and we're going to run out of time right now and we'll just play again and I wanted to go ahead and I'm not going to submit the high score nor am I going to email send out an email challenge which I could do let's go ahead and start again now I'll go ahead and I'll get four. Um, I'll get go ahead and get five bones, and then I'll show you what the next level looks like. Because uh, each level gets progressively a little bit harder. And uh, there goes one bone. Let's go ahead and five, two. There's the second one. Two, four. A little bit off there. There we go. It's not a big deal if you uh, get off a little bit. You just got to figure out uh, pretty much. Doesn't have to be exact, but you need to move it a little bit closer than, let's say, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think you need to go up. There we go. Let's go to one zero, and I've already got four of them, as you can see down here. And uh, so I just need to get one more, and then when time runs out, I'll move on to the next level. And what the next level does, <coughs> excuse me, it brings over one zero. Let's go there. We got the fifth one. What the next level does, it introduces asteroid, and if that hits you, it'll take away some of the bones that you've collected. And then uh, the next level, the last level is the third level, and it has the asteroid in there, but it also has a uh, uh, flying saucer that chases you around on the screen. And uh, the uh, alien in the spa in the flying saucer will also steal your bones, so you've got to uh, dodge the uh, asteroids. You can't let it hit uh, Mass Pup spaceship, and you can't let the alien uh, uh, collide with your spaceship either. So it's fixing to go right now. It's getting ready to go over the second level, and then we got the five bones. So we'll level up and press spacebar to go to the next level. And now it says go to three five, and there's asteroid. Let's go ahead and get one, and I've got one bone now, and if it touches me, which it did, it took the bone. Okay, so it is gone. So you'll continue on this, try to collect five bones, and if you get through this level, then the, you'll be on the third and last level, and at that point, you will be able to, uh, you'll have to get five bones, and, and uh, to complete that level, uh, you have to get them without colliding with the asteroid or letting the alien chase you down. Anyways, I hope you have fun playing the game. I hope this helped a little bit uh, in, in understanding the game. And uh, thanks for watching.